culture of lies is swiftly replacing the integrity and respect that Kenyans deserve. A statement by the Catholic bishops to the Kenya Kwanza government calling out what they termed as lies has elicited heated debate and reactions from opposers and supporters alike. In the clergy's corner is the self-declared people loyal opposition led by Wiper Party leader Kalonzo Musyoka. They now say the move by the government to attack the church is totally uncalled for, insisting issues raised by the church are neither new nor false. They have vowed to stand with the clergy. We commend our Catholic bishops for calling out this rogue government on its unethical dealings with the people of Kenya that are corroding the basic core values that we cherish as a Kenyan people. Stoning the bishops or trying to kill the messenger will not change the message. We stand by the bishops, particularly Bishop Moheria who has been targeted, and we stand by the church, we stand by the truth. And we want to tell our uh, colleagues in government that uh, what the bishops have said is what the Gen Z's said, is what the millennials said, is what the opposition is saying. But that profiling and saying that that was a tribal statement is a profiling that is in keeping with the root regime. And Kenyans need to be clear in their minds. The Kalonzo-led opposition faction has also called out the ambitious plan by the government to carry out a nationwide livestock vaccination drive. I announced yesterday that in January we will have a national vaccination program. According to the government, this program will cover 22 million cattle and 50 million goods and sheep. The initiative aims to tackle widespread livestock diseases and enhance Kenya's ability to export high-quality livestock products to international markets. The opposition is having none of it, accusing the government of putting the livestock at risk by using them as guinea pigs. The vaccination exercise is only the habitat of more sinister things to follow. The scheme is to eradicate farm animal production entirely. They will end produ production of beef and other bovine meats as we have traditionally known them in the country. The proprietors of these projects seek to replace farm foods with industrially generated synthetic meats. Kalonzo has called on Kenyans to collectively reject the exercise which seeks to manipulate the genetic makeup of animals. Every Kenyan, therefore, has a responsibility to aggressively oppose this cruel goal. We ask all Kenyans to remain very vigilant. Do not allow any agent or official of the Ruto regime to come anywhere near Kenyan cattle with these vaccines. Kalonzo Musyoka has come out to clearly in recent months to condemn the Kenya Kwanza government even after the Azimio coalition leader Raila Odinga appeared to have crossed the floor with some top ODM officials even getting seats in cabinet. Brian Amuai, K24.